if you have a Mazda 3 from year 2004 to 2009 and you want to replace the power window switch stick around and I'll show you how To remove this switch is pretty simple. We don't have to remove no door panels at all. We're just gonna pry it out the switch and it's gonna come out really easy. Like I say, we don't have to remove the door panel and remove screws under like certain cars. This switch is pretty easy. And for this uh, video, we're gonna use this uh, plastic pry bar. I highly recommend it if you're gonna work on dashboards, door panels, because this tool prevents it from being scratched. So we're going to start right here at the bottom of the switch. We're going to insert the pry bar on the bottom of the switch, and we're going to lift it up, and we're going to go all the way. We're going to insert the tool in here. So you can see, now you want to pop it a little bit out. Keep popping up. Then we're going to move the switch a little downwards. As you can see, because it has a little tap in here that needs to be released. So now, as you can see, you start popping out, lifting the switch up. Just move the switch around with your hands and the switch comes out very easy now when we remove the switch is going to have two connections we need to remove them both of that connection has little tabs to lock them in place we're going to we're going to push on this tab and we're going to push the plug out and on the other one the same thing it has another tab in here which we need to push in order for the plug to come out. When we remove the switch, we need to remove these three screws in here. The screws that I'm showing you here, they need to be removed in order for the switch to come out. This is the switch that has to come out. This one is just for the mirrors, side mirrors. This is what we need to replace. Now I'm going to remove the two, the three screws and I'm going to show you the new switch I have for this vehicle. Now, as you can see, I removed the switch from the door panel, from the case. I removed it and this is the new switch I have if you're interested in buying this switch, I'll leave the link in the video description so you can buy it. This is the new switch I have. Now, I'm going to transfer it right here. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to install the three screws right here. We're going to put them in here. And you're going to come and get your screws and put them in this is a very very easy procedure now you're going to tie your screws now put the rest of the screws time then again and we're gonna do the installation which is the same as the removal procedure but in reverse now the switch is installed now let's put it back on the door now back at the door we have the new switch installed we're gonna do the same procedure you're going to connect 
the wires push them now we connect the other wire which is going to go here and as you can see the switch has a little tap in here as you can see it has a little tap which needs to go in here we're going to insert it first we're going to push the this little tap first inside so that way we can put the switch in as you can see now we push it in now we just push it down with pressure that's it the switch is installed very simple to do simple fix and easy if you find this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and i'll see you on the next video take care be safe and peace be the fan, that's what they call me I promise that you'll never be lonely